guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. What are we talking about today? Disney, my favorite thing. I know and I haven't done a Disney video in a while um, and I've been meaning to do this one uh, for quite some time. Just haven't had a second to do it. So let's get started because there's a lot to talk about. Um, specifically advanced dining reservations. Okay, I'm jumping right in. You need to make, if you want sit down, Din sit down dinners or breakfast, sit down meals. If you want signature meals, if you want character meals, I highly, highly, highly recommend making advanced dining reservations. If you're staying at Disney property, um, you can make them 180 days out, okay? So yeah, you have to actually think about your trip six months in advance, actually longer than that because you have to prepare to get online at 180 days out. So how do you prepare? That's what I'm here to talk about. The first thing you need to know is obviously you're gonna know your dates, you're gonna make your hotel reservations, and then what you need to do is figure out what park you're going to go to on that day so that you can make your reservations accordingly. So for me, we wanted to do a lot of sit down dinners, 10 in fact, and uh, sit down meals, and we did 10. Uh, and I got all 10. And I'm talking things like Crystal Palace, Be Our Guest, uh, California Girl, these are just some of uh, Tusker House, these are some of the reservations. What was important to me? Well, it was important to me to get to the park early. Why? I wanted to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. How can I get there at 8 o'clock in the morning? There's still only two ways. One, extra magic hours. Two, breakfast. Here's the thing with extra magic hours. Every single person in all the hotels is going to want to be there. That's going to make it busy. Um, we are going to Thanksgiving weekend, so it's going to be busy anyways, right? So I chose option two, which was breakfast. Um, but make sure that on the days that they have those extra early magic hours, that that is not the day you're making breakfast at 8 a.m. Because the park opens at 8 a.m. You want to choose your day, if you want to be at Epcot, to go to Garden Grill, you do not want that to be an extra magic hour time right because you want to be there at eight o'clock so that you can have your breakfast and then be in line for either frozen or sorted whichever fast pass you couldn't get um before the park even opens okay that's my thought process i don't want to wait in line for rides that i really want to see like flight of passage or um the navi river i know i can only get one fast pass but if i'm having breakfast at tusker house at 810, which is what I have my reservation for, then I know if I got a fast pass for Navi River ride, then I'm gonna zoom right after breakfast and be in line waiting for um, the flights of passage, okay? So my, uh, what was important to me was getting breakfast reservations, as well as reservations that allowed me to view, say, illuminations. So you need to, one, uh, obviously you have your dates, you know what park you're going to, the next thing is what restaurants do you want to eat at, okay? That's write a list. Uh, that's what I did. I, I have this, this was my scratch paper. So you can see this is the day we arrive, I know we're going to eat at Boma because it's our hotel. Well the next day I know I'm going to Epcot, here's the fast passes that I want, here's the restaurants that I want to eat at, here's what time illumination goes off at, and so on and so on. So this was my scratch paper. Once I figured out where I wanted to eat, another scratch paper, I said okay, here's the restaurants, here is the date, here is the theme park that they're at, and here is the time. And then you can see I have notes under here. So for instance, if this is a Be Our Guest, I can't get Be Our Guest, then I'm gonna try and get Crystal, Pal um, Crystal Palace. If I can't get Be Our Guest on the 22nd, I'm gonna try for the 23rd. And if I can't get it at this time, I'll get it at this time. Be flexible to a certain degree, okay? Uh, so have backups. Okay, if something is very, very important to you. For me, it was getting to the park early. The next thing is, uh, so you have your list. Become familiar with the website where you make your dining reservations. Do not use the app because it will fail you. It'll knock you out. But become accustomed to the website. Where do you plug in the date? 
Where do you plug in how many people there are? Where do you plug in the name of the restaurant? What's the fastest way to work around it? Okay, so kind of familiarize yourself with it. Now, uh, the reservations open at 6 a.m. Eastern time. I am in Texas, that means I had to get up at 4, well I got up at 4.30, because I had to be ready to go by 5. So uh, I broke out our list so that this is what it looked like, I typed it all up, and I gave half to my me and half to my daughter. I was on a lap, or laptop and a computer, and we were working together. It was chaotic, and I was very nervous because I really wanted all of these. Uh, what's another little tidbit of information? If you pull up, be our guest, and you want an 8 o'clock reservation in the morning and you can only get an 8.15, take it. <laughs> um, the other thing is, for instance, I got an 8.40 for Garden Grill. Well, 8.40 is horrible because you know you can't eat in 20 minutes. But that 8.40 at least got me there. Okay, so I made the reservation for 840 and then there are ways, and I will get to those, where you can try and make that reservation better, okay? Which I did, I'm now up to 820. <laughs> Working my way to that eight o'clock. So, you go in that day, and you get on your computers, and you've got your list. Now, do not write the list out by the day, or by the theme park. It is by the most difficult reservation to get, at the top to the least difficult to get at the bottom. BOMO is at the bottom. That's a reservation that's at our hotel, easy to get. It's, it was at the bottom of the list. The top, be our guest. Um, and then so on. And then Ashley had, my daughter had her half. And we worked very, very hard. I will say for the first five minutes, we freaked out because we couldn't get anything. And then we got into a groove and then it just started happening. So don't give up. Don't get frustrated, and again, just take whatever you can get because you can always make it better. Uh, so once you've done all that, you can print them out. And this is what I did. I printed, uh, where is it? I printed it out. And then you see how it has a little happy face? That means I got the exact time that I wanted. If it has a circle on it, that means like this was the garden girl I told you about that got 840. I needed to make this one better. And then I got happy faces, happy faces, happy faces, and down here I need some work. So the ones where I needed work, here's a couple. How can you make them better? Okay, two things. One, this is where your My Disney app will come in. Check several times a day. You go to your reservation, say you have it at the Garden Grill at 840. You click on it, you say modify, and then you say, you say pick 8 o'clock. And then uh, it'll tell you if anything's available. Okay, that's how I made it better. Because uh, I had an 840 and it went to an 830 and then I got an 825 and then an 820. <laughs> so it took some work. The other thing is a, play, a website called touringplans.com. They have a, a program that is, uh, it's a trial program. You can put in two reservations that you want, times. So for instance, I have Be Our Guest for dinner at 4.45. That's too early of, an, of a dinner when we have a, a breakfast. So I have that in there um, and I said, you know, I want like seven o'clock. It'll check everything an hour later and an hour earlier. So plug it in in the middle where you would then get a nice range. I will say, when it comes through, and it will come through via text and email, you need to literally have your phone in your hand. And I'm not lying. I have missed two of them, one by two minutes. Two minutes it had come through and I went to go get it and it was gone. Um, the one that I did get, I had the phone in my hand and I was texting somebody and it popped through and I literally boop, chop, and there I got it. Um, so check it out, touringplans.com, and I'll put it at the bottom. Uh, so what I will go through briefly, just so you are aware that of the restaurants that we got, um, so that you have an idea of uh, what we got and why we got them, um, in case you're interested. 
So day one, we are just going to Boma um, because that's the day we arrived. We made a fairly early reservation at 5.45 so that we get a good night's sleep. Uh, our first day is going to be at Epcot and we are going to the Garden Grill. At, it is at 8.20. I am gonna try and make that better. Why did I make breakfast reservations? Because if I can't get frozen or Soren, if I can only get one fast pass, I'm going to have breakfast and run over and get in line before the park opens. Uh, and that's consistent with why I got breakfast everywhere. Uh, at night, we're going to go to La Hacienda de San Angel dinner. That it coincides with, we got dinner reservations at seven because Illuminations goes off at nine. And we wanna sit and enjoy, not have to fight the crowds and sit for hours to get a little spot on a piece of concrete. Why not be having a margarita and a beautiful dinner and dessert and watching Illuminations? That's my thought process. On day three, we will be at, um, uh, what's it called, the Hollywood Studios. And we are, this is another thing, um, there are three restaurants that uh, you can eat at and then get preferred seating at Fantasmic. Why would I wanna wait in line an hour to see a show where I, if I could go and have dinner or a meal and then get preferred seating? So we're gonna eat at Mel, Mama Melrose's at three o'clock it was the only time available. Is it ideal? No. But my thought process is we're not doing breakfast there because Hollywood Studios is under so much construction that it's the one time we're gonna sleep in. Um, we'll have, you know, a three o'clock breakfast, or excuse me, lunch, dinner, and then do the Fantasmic and then have, you know, a little snack somewhere. Um, day four, we will be at Animal Kingdom and we are going, we have reservations at 8, 10 in the morning at Tusker House for breakfast. Obviously, you know why, because Pandora, I can only get a um, flight of passage or Nabi River, whichever one I don't get for Fast Pass, will be in line. Um, the next day, uh, we will be at um, Magic Kingdom and we have Be Our Guest reservations for breakfast at 8.15. We'll be at the California Grill at 7.35 because we wanna see Wishes, is it wishes or happily ever after? Now I guess happily ever after. We want to see that go off uh, from the Contemporary Hotel on the 15th floor. We've never done that, so we're pretty excited. And just so you know, our trip is definitely revolved around food as well as the rides and everything because we've never done it that way. So we're pretty excited to do all these character meals and signature dining and, and whatnot. So pretty excited about that. The next day, uh, we're going back to um, Magic Kingdom and we're gonna be having breakfast at the Crystal Palace at eight in the morning. We have a lunch at Liberty Tea Tavern at 1.30 because it's Thanksgiving. And then we have dinner at Be Our Guest at 4.45. See, that's way too many things but I took them all because that's the only times. So I'm happy obviously with the 8 a.m. breakfast, but I have to work on either moving the lunch down or getting rid of the lunch and putting the dinner. So I still have a little bit of work to do, but I feel good. At least I know I'm gonna have sit down meals. So that is our trip. How you plan your trip, it, you know, it might not revolve around food. Maybe y'all just wanna go to be our guest. This will still work for you in that just plan and uh, plan accordingly. Uh, you know, make sure you make those reservations 180 days before. Make sure you know what park you're gonna be at before that happens. Make sure you know what restaurants you wanna eat at and then have backups. And then take whatever time you can get because you can always make it better, especially as it gets closer to your reservation. Uh, dates. Uh, people will cancel and then you can pick them up. Uh, download that My Disney app so that you can check during the day and make those reservations. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys back when I am ready to do fast passes. Those will not be as bad, thank goodness. Dining was a little bit stressful, I'm not going to lie. I actually had nightmares the days leading up, but it worked out. And so hopefully some of the information that I've shared 
shared with you will be helpful. And I hope you guys have an amazing trip when you all are going. And I will be back to share my uh, thoughts on um, fast passes. So have a great day. And if you enjoyed uh, this video and you're interested in seeing additional Disney videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit that little uh, bell so uh, it will alert you when I upload a new video. You guys have a great day. Bye.